All right, this is my Asana account and just want to show you how I put this together in hopes it can help you in organizing your Asana. The first thing that I recommend is that you have multiple teams. Teams are just the things that you'll see here in blue. So you'll see April's personal and family projects. That's a team, but I am the only person on that team. Then you'll see learn, do, become. There's a lot of people on that team. Those are all of the members of our official team who help us to run the organization. You'll see power of moms below. That was kind of a first team I was starting that was only shared with Andrea. And then you see team power of moms where we have 15 people. This is the new one that we're starting. So I've kind of been reorganizing that. I also have church volunteer work that I keep in here, and I just created a sample Asana so that when I'm actually building things inside of Asana for videos or things like that, I can use that. The nice thing about having teams set up is that when you're doing a variety of projects, you can make sure you're only sharing certain information with other people. So as you're doing your personal and family projects, you probably don't want to be showing that to all of your coworkers, you know, and then you can really put your personal goals in there and know that they're safe. Same thing if you're running multiple organizations or you're doing volunteer work in the community or at church, you don't want everyone seeing all of that. So I recommend that you put together teams based on the people that you work with and kind of the categories of your life. But then you'll notice we have projects put inside of these teams. Now I keep these projects very high level. So like personal projects and personal routines and family projects, those are things up at the top. Under learn to become, I'll do the show more and you can see how the entire team, every person has projects and routines put together. Now some team members choose to do all of theirs together. So Kristen, you can see hers here in pink. She'll do hers with all of her routines and projects and everything's in there. Jill, you can see, is using projects and routines separately, and then she also has created a project flowchart, helpful with the responsibilities she's doing. So I don't specify how the team has to create their things, but we do want to make sure everybody has a, a place where we can record their projects. That way, let's say we'll go into our team project home base. We can know, we give our agendas up here at the top, we can know what are the current projects that we're working on, are there any projects waiting, anything next in line? And then we can look over here and we can see who's assigned certain projects and where things need to go. And the nice thing too is that as we start to set up projects, we can have a certain project belong to multiple people. So it shows up on their individual project lists and that helps us just kind of organize that a little bit more. So as you're creating your projects, then inside, I'm gonna just show you inside my Learn Do Become and Power of Moms projects. I have it organized current, in progress, next in line, and someday. We do the same thing, and I do finished ones down here. So we do the same thing inside our team projects and inside each other person's projects, that if you have it organized in this way, you always know what your current projects are. So I do have current projects in my Power of Moms team, in my personal team, my church team, but I personally then pull out the current projects and for each of those teams and I write them on a whiteboard hanging in my office. So that way I have right in front of me all of the current projects I'm working on, but during the day when I'm actually coming into Asana, I can just work from the category I'm working on at the time. The other thing that you might be interested in is as you look down here at the bottom left, you'll see it says my tasks. That can take anything that has a deadline and it puts it all together. So it pulls from all of these teams and anything that's assigned to you that has a deadline will show up in my tasks. The important thing there is that you don't want to give deadlines to a lot of things. You want to have as many things as possible, not have deadlines. If I click on my Learn to Become Empowered Moms routines, I really hardly put any deadlines in there. You can see this one. I'm really working on how the communities feel when they read our emails. Um, with Power of Moms, we decided not to do a newsletter yesterday. So instead, we're going to do one next week. So I can just go ahead here and say we'll do one next Thursday. Um, same thing with Learn to Become email. That one's ready to go, but I didn't get a chance to get that out yet. So probably maybe do that tomorrow. So see how that's organized. 
That way I have a few things that have deadlines. These would show up under my tasks, but I don't have deadlines for everything. And this way I can review my routines and look at them. Anything that has to be done, it will show up in my tasks, but otherwise I don't need to feel overwhelmed by it. So there is also a higher level you can create where instead, like right here, you see my picture appear at the top and these are all like April's projects. Um, and you see the top it says learn to become.com projects. I had started this as like learn to become and then I started adding in power moms and personal and things like that. So I could change the name of that at the top. But then there are other organizations who have shared their, you know, higher level with me. Um, that's just, that's a whole nother thing where if you, if I log out of this one, the learn to become.com projects at the very, very top, if I log out of this one, I log into another one, the, my tasks will be totally different. So I just recommend not doing that as much as possible. I, that was for like a temporary thing I, I did, but for the most part, I have everything right here inside one Asana organized by teams. I have all of the projects you know, done this way, like I was showing you, current, in progress, next in line, someday. And then one other thing, though, to think about is, let's say you're managing some clients or something like that. You could create a separate team called clients, and you only share it with you or someone else who'd be serving those specific clients. And then what you could do is um, have a little project, like how, let's say, where it says April's Learn to Become Power Moms Project. Let's say that said clients. And then here I could just have lists of clients and as you click into them, you could have additional details shared, you can add comments, you can upload pictures and files, or in this description area over here, you just can see on my screen, I'll say this is where I could add an Evernote link or a link to a Google Sheet or something like that. So see how that way it just shows up under description. And that's kind of fun too, because then you can, you can access additional information as needed. So hope that's helpful and please continue to post questions and let me know how I can be of service.